Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to finally share with you my Project 333 Winter Capsule Wardrobe. If you follow me here on this channel, then you know that uh, since a month or so, I've already transitioned from my fall capsule to my winter one. And I really wanted to make some outdoor filming with some capsule combinations, especially for this video. But uh, so ever since I came back to Tallinn, the average temperatures outside have been between minus 13 and minus 20 or even less Celsius. <laughs> so it's really, really cold outside and I guess I have to wait for better, better weather conditions to make some outdoor filming. Before I get started to show you what I chose, a little disclaimer, uh, I posted recently on this channel a video about uh, what I think about fast fashion and why I decided to quit it some months ago. Well, um, you will see in this capsule quite a bit of pieces from fast fashion brands, especially from H&M, that was the store where I used to shop the most. Um, of course, I'm not gonna buy any more new pieces from fast fashion brands but the ones that I already have if they fit if they are in good conditions and if I still like them I will continue to wear them so that's why I have still some in my wardrobe these are the exact 33 pieces that I chose for my winter capsule wardrobe I hope you enjoy so I'm gonna start with outerwear and I have two pieces of outerwear in this capsule the first one would be my black uh, hooded kind of parka jacket that I got from Lindex. And then I have this uh, brownish, probably not fancy, but very functional and warm snow jacket that I got in a supermarket when I was living in Germany. For layering pieces, I have four knit sweaters slash cardigans and one sweatshirt. So the first one would be the one that I'm wearing at the moment. It is this black and white poncho slash cape thing, very cozy and warm. It, it was a gift from my mother. I believe she got it in primer. It's fairly old, but I really like it because of the interesting uh, Aztec print on top of it. Then I have this super old uh, red and um, navy blue uh, open cardigan with pockets. This is from H&M also super warm uh, and cozy. I have this green kind of oversized uh, sweater. This is also from H&M, also super old, but extremely um, versatile and I wear it all the time. I have this gray sweater. Uh, it's a fitted one, so it has kind of a, a different uh, shape and fit. Uh, this was also a gift. It was a gift from my from my grandmother. It was from the Italian brand Combibel, and I really like it because of the interesting neckline. It can be worn in different ways, and it can also be converted into a hood. And finally, I have this white sweatshirt. It is from Abercrombie and Fitch. This was also a gift from my mother. Again, uh, I have plenty of gifts into this capsule wardrobe. And she got it uh, last summer when she went on holiday in uh, USA. I have two dresses. This flared uh, black and gray with some big buttons here in the front uh, with this turtleneck. Uh, this was thrifted. And then I have this little black dress with a skater skirt and short sleeves. This is kind of old but uh, fits really well and it's from H&M. I have three long sleeve shirts. The first one would be this long plaid red, blue and white uh, shirt that sometimes I even use it as a dress on top of tights or leggings. This is very lightweight, so it's perfect for layering, and I use it all the time. I very like it, and it's from H&M. Then I have this wrinkled uh, denim shirt. This is also perfect for layering. I use it also quite a lot, 
Uh, this was a gift from a dear friend of mine and it's from the brand Replay. And then I have this um, blouse. It's black with white polka dots. It's kind of a more formal option. It's a uh, very kind of silky chiffon material and fits really well. Um, and this was from Lindex. So I moved on this side of the wardrobe so it's easier for me to show you my tops and bottoms. Uh, I have three long sleeves tops. The first one would be the one that I'm wearing, so I'm going to insert a clip of this one. It's just a very simple and plain black tunic top. Super comfortable, super soft, perfect layering, and I thrifted it for nothing. I think I got it for one euro fifty or so. Then I have this super old uh, yellow uh, H&M top. Um, it's very, very old, but also perfect for layering. I think it's starting to fall apart in some seams, for example, here under the armpits. It's kind of worn out, but I think it's going to hold up for the rest of the season, and then eventually I will uh, change it and replace it. But for now, it still goes super well. I, go, I love the color of this one. Then I have this super soft gray with thin black stripes long sleeve top. This is from the Conscious brand Armit Angels. And then I have four t-shirts. I have a plain white one from the H&M Conscious collection. Plain black one also from the H&M Conscious collection. I have this oversized black with white stripes men t-shirt that I thrifted. Uh, it's super comfortable. I love having at least one oversized striped thing in my wardrobe. I have to have it. This is probably the piece that I'm wearing the most. And then I have this gray t-shirt with the Harvard logo on it. This was also a gift from my mother. When she went uh, last year in that USA trip, she visited the Harvard campus and she got it as a gift for me. For bottoms, I have two jeans and one skirt. I have the jeans that I'm wearing at the moment, so again, I'm gonna put a clip of these ones. They are just a dark blue wash uh, skinny uh, jean. These are from the brand, conscious brand Armed Angels. Then I have these uh, black, plain, regular, bit of a high-waisted uh, skinny jeans. These are from H&M. Very pleased, surprisingly, about the quality of these ones. These are holding super well. And finally, I have a black, short uh, skater skirt. This is a jersey material, and this is also from H&M. For accessories, I have two scarves, this very big um, poncho cape thing that I mostly use as a scarf. It's super big, so I can wrap myself around it. It's very warm, and I love it because of the gradient effect from light gray to black. And this was a gift from my boyfriend. He got it in a market in Berlin. And then I have this knitted scarf that I got on Etsy. It's uh, also a gradient effect and it can be converted into an infinity scarf with this button that is sewn here on one of the sides. For bags, I have two pieces and that you saw already into my uh, fall capsule wardrobe. Actually, most of the pieces that you find in this capsule are from my fall capsule wardrobe. And I have this backpack from Fia Raven Kanken. It's blue grayish color, very durable and lightweight. I love this backpack ever since I got it. I use it all the time. And then I have this tote slash crossbody bag that I got from Keepling more than two years ago. Also use it all the time, lightweight and durable. Love it. And then for belts, I have two different kind of belts. I have this black skinny belt with this uh, braided effect. Can't remember when I got it, it's so old. 
And then I have this regular leather belt that it's also super old. Also can't remember what I bought it. And then I have a very simple black knitted beanie that I got from H&M. And just a pair of black gloves that I thrifted. And finally for shoes, I have three different options. This pair of black vegan boots that I got online. These are from the ethical brand Nye. I have this pair of brown leather lace-up boots. These are from Dr. Martens. I love these boots. They have the fleecy thing on the inside, so they are super warm. And I thrifted these boots three years ago when I was on holiday in Berlin. I love these things. And finally, I have another pair of Dr. Martens boots. Uh, these are just a regular black version that I got online. And with this weather, these super frosty temperatures and ice everywhere, these things and these days are saving my life. So there you have it. This was my uh, 33 item winter capsule wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to leave a comment down below if you're interested to see in the upcoming weeks some outfit combinations videos. I would love to make it for you and to share my outfits with you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I guess I'll see you very soon and until then, take care and bye bye.